Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sydney, I'm a first year medical student and today I'll be starting my first day of my second semester of medical school. So today I'll be taking you guys with me in a day in my life and unfortunately we're going to have to start our first two days of this semester virtually so I won't be able to take you guys actually with me to class and things like that but hopefully in the future I'll be able to do that. But yeah, we're, we're back to Zoom University, <laughs> so I'm just going to make the most of it. I wasn't really looking forward to doing my classes online. I was looking forward to actually going to class, but you never know. I might actually like Zoom University. So this is my lecture schedule for today. We have quite a few lectures this morning, um, and then this afternoon we have what we call SDLs. SDLs just stand for Student Directed Learning, and it's basically they give us a couple cases for us to study on our own so yeah that's my agenda for today so this block is our neuro block so we're gonna be learning all about the brain and all of that and the nervous system and all of that stuff so last block we did the musculoskeletal system and um i don't know i kind of liked it and then other days i didn't like it i don't really think that going into ortho is in my future <laughs> i don't know but honestly i don't know i feel like every day my specialty of choice changes so we're just gonna like roll the punches at this point i don't know <laughs> you never know i might fall in love with neuro during this block we will see so one of my biggest goals this block is to do more like daily studying on the things that i'm learning on a day-to-day -day basis so the way that i usually study is i use anki but i don't use anki the way that every other medical student uses anki normally anki is use like a space levitation tool so you have to do like your cards every day to stay up with it but i don't use it that way <laughs> so um we have a pre-made anki deck specifically for our school so i use that i use it basically like quizlet so i just use it for the flashcards. using anki the way that it's supposed to be used is kind of very overwhelming for me because it's like oh you have to do a thousand cars today and I just on top of everything else that I have to do and it's just very overwhelming for me so I might start incorporating that later on when I'm getting ready to study for the boards and things like that but for now I'm just gonna use it like it's Quizlet but anyway usually I will go through those cards after I like go over a lecture to make sure that I don't need to add anything or take anything out because sometimes there is stuff in there that I don't really need or I need more of so my goal this block is to do that like the same day that I do the lecture. So today I have four lectures this morning. So my goal is this afternoon to go over those cards to make sure that I have everything that I need so that tomorrow morning I can start studying them. So that's my goal. I don't really know how consistent I'm going to stay with it because it will require a lot more work. But I think in the long run it will really help me to not have to study as hard or as much and be as stressed out when I'm getting ready to study for an exam because I've already seen the material multiple times. So we're going to see how that works out. I really hope it does help because in the past I just I feel like sometimes on some tests I'm like kind of scrambling a few days before the test because I've only seen some of the material a few times and if I'm doing what I'm what I say I'm going to do now by the time I get to my test, I've seen I would have seen the material at least five or six times before I start like solely studying for that one test. So it sounds, in theory, it sounds like a really good plan, but we're gonna see how it works out. The sun is hitting. Hold on. But we're gonna see how this afternoon goes. I don't really know what I'm gonna do after lunch just yet because I told you I do have those SDLs this afternoon, but those do take a long time for me to go through. So I'm thinking we have two lectures tomorrow that are pre-recorded. So I think I might watch those after lunch and then I might just do all of my SDLs tomorrow afternoon after lunch because we have SDLs tomorrow afternoon as well. So I might just make tomorrow afternoon an SDL day. I just want to do something that's going to be a good use of my time. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my time because my time is money, baby. My time is money. Okay, it's 740 now. So I'm going to go and make sure that my Zoom is working the way that it's supposed to because I would hate to miss out on these lectures this morning and have to watch them later because that would just throw me off. I'm going to do that. Get ready for these lectures. Let's get it. Welcome to the first day of semester or two.
first half of the day is over. I don't know how I made it through those lectures, but I was I was fighting for my life because I was falling asleep during the first <laughs> lecture. And I don't know if it's because we just got off a three week break or it's because I am tired, genuinely tired, or if it's because we were on Zoom, but I was just, it was hard to stay awake. Very, very difficult. I'm gonna eat some lunch now. I ate some spaghetti last night. So I didn't have um, food for the week. I talked earlier today about how I want to start studying this block and I realized during just these four lectures that we had this morning, if I study the way that I want to study, the way that I talked about this morning, it's gonna help a lot because just these four lectures this morning, they were very dense, like very dense. There's a lot of material that I need to cover already just for four, four lectures. So, I don't know, I just, I'm just gonna have to be disciplined. I mean, that's what it all boils down to is just being disciplined and that's one of my my words for this year. It actually was one of my words for last year too, something that I really want to challenge myself is just to be more disciplined in everything that I do. If that means waking up a little bit earlier just to study a little bit more, just so I can stay on top of things and not be so stressed out when it comes time to study for exams, then that's what I need to do. I mean, it's not, it's not fun. It's not always going to be what I want to do, but in order to make things better for myself, that's just what I'm going to have to do. So it is what it is. You know, you just got to roll with the punches and if you know what your goals are, you know what you need to do to achieve them. And you're just not doing them because you don't feel like it then the only person that's holding you back from your goals is yourself and i refuse to hold myself back anymore i refuse to be okay with being complacent and being okay with just slacking off because i don't feel like doing something so i'm just it's just me taking control of my life taking control of my study habits and things like that yeah i'm off my soapbox for the day but I'm gonna go eat this lunch and who knows what we're gonna do after that. I'm just gonna go with the flow. So I've just finished going over all the lectures that I had this morning and editing the flashcards in Anki to my liking and it's about 4 o'clock now so that took me about 2 hours so that's kind of long but uh, like I said this morning we went over a lot of material so there were a lot of things that I need to make sure that I covered but I really liked this system because it really helped me to be able to see like how much I retained during um, the lecture this morning. Yeah, after I woke up from my nap, I was gonna go ahead and watch those lectures for tomorrow, but they weren't uploaded yet, but I think they're uploaded now, so. And it looks like there's two lectures that they pre-uploaded, and it looks like both of those lectures are recorded, and it's only 45 minutes for like both of them, so that's good. I don't have to sit for two hours to watch two lectures, so. I'm gonna knock that out real quick and then um, I might treat myself to some Starbucks or something because I've been really craving that caramel crunch frappuccino. I've been craving that all day so I think I might treat myself because I've worked hard today. I've done some good work, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these lectures out real quick and we'll see what happens after. need to get one of those 
little things I can stick on my um, windshield to put my camera on because I have it down here and it keeps falling. But I don't know why I chose today to get a Frappuccino because it's literally so cold outside. I should have grabbed a jacket. I'm kind of freezing. But I'm going to get one anyways because I've been wanting one all day. And that's just what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to get. I made it to Starbucks. There's a little bit of a line, but that's fine. I can wait. I can wait. Every time I open my phone, I always see 444. It just changed. But I've been seeing it like every day for the past couple weeks. I don't know what that means, but I don't know. Let me look it up. Hey, can I have a grande um, caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino? Of course. What else? That's all. All right. It'll be 5 dollars for the window. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see what this 444 means. Okay, it's a very powerful number that means that your angels are by your side and want the very best for you. They're asking that you pay, very, pay attention very carefully to the signs that you see around you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't see any signs at the moment, but... <laughs> I will, I will look out for them. I don't know. I just keep seeing this number, so it's it's interesting. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some signs. I don't know what my angels are trying to tell me, but okay. Actually, I have looked at like two different sites, and they say two different things. This site tells me that I'm in love. So, what's the truth? This one says. 444 represents preparation and clear direction. What do I believe? I'm going to go with preparation and clear direction because it's a new year and I just started a new semester and that makes sense for my life. I mean, I am in love. I do have a, a loving boyfriend, but we've been together for 5 years, so I don't I don't think that I don't think that one's it. So we're going to go with the preparation and clear direction one. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Oh yeah, baby. Mm hmm. I just realized I forgot to tell them to make this with almond milk. Oh well. I've been using Canva a lot lately to make calendars and things like that. So before school started, I made like a weekly block calendar that's specific to how many blocks or how many weeks we have in a block so that I can plan my days out. I like to plan my days out like a day at a time. So um, I made that and then now I'm making um, a lecture tracker so it can help me keep up with the lectures that I've watched. And um, let me just show you. <laughs> so basically, here's my lecture tracker. Um, it has three dots for each lecture, so once I watch the lecture, I'll fill in the first block. And then after I finish editing the flashcards for that specific lecture, then I'll fill in the second block. And then um, as I start doing my reviews, I'll fill in the third block. So I'm probably going to color code the third block. So if I feel good with the lectures, or if I feel comfortable with the material, then I'll color it green or something. Or if I feel like I am kind of sort of comfortable with it, but I need to do more reps then I'll do like yellow or if I feel like I'm not comfortable at all then I'll probably do red. So that's what my lecture tracker looks like that I'm finishing up right now on Canva. I should have done this, finished it yesterday before classes started today but you know life happens. <laughs> so I'm almost done with it. I just have to put I think make it make one for I think four more classes that we have this block and then I'll be done. But I think I am pretty much done with studying and stuff today. I am very proud of myself for how much I've done today. I said I like, I like to plan my days out like a day at a time so my goal for today was just to go through all of my lectures to do all my lecture reviews and make sure that I finished the flashcards for that and I did that. I finished that all by 4 30 ish so I'm really proud of myself for that and for also picking up the camera again and vlogging. I have been wanting to start vlogging again for a very long time since Really since the first block, but 
during block one, I was just so overwhelmed with getting used to medical school and just getting used to living this medical student lifestyle that I just did not have time to vlog or to edit. So one of my biggest goals that I said that I was gonna do this semester was just do more things that I love, do more things that I enjoy. And I really enjoy vlogging and editing videos and just unleashing that creative side of myself. So I'm super excited to be vlogging again and sharing my journey through medical school with you guys. So yeah, I think that's this is where I'm going to end this vlog. Um, if you are starting your spring semester like I am, then I wish you guys the best of luck. I'm always rooting for you guys and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.